Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at the segment addition postulate. Now that's just a really fancy way of saying when you have a line segment and you have that line segment divided into parts, the sum of the parts is equal to the whole. So nothing crazy there. So I'm going to be using my highlighter and I have one part over here on the left and I have one part over here on the right. And all I'm saying here is that if we take that yellow highlight and we add it to the blue highlight, we get the overall total. All right. So again, the yellow highlight plus the blue highlight will give you the overall total. So what does that mean in terms of the math that we're actually doing here? So if we have 2x minus 16, that's what we have in the yellow, and then we add it to, let's put this in parentheses, and we add it to 2x minus 14, we'll get the overall total. So overall, that is equal to 18 units. So now it's all a matter of whether or not you're able to do the algebra. So we have 2x minus 16 first. We don't need that in parentheses any longer. And then we have plus 2x minus 14. So you might be wondering, why did I have the parentheses in the first place if I'm just going to take the parentheses away and nothing changes? It's just a good habit to have. So if we had a minus sign here, it would have changed these. But again, this is the segment addition postulate. So actually, none of these signs end up changing. And then we end up getting 18. So now we look for our like terms and use a different color highlighter. So we have with the x's over here, and we have just our numbers in pink. And so when we add 2x plus 2x, we get 4x. And then when we add negative 16 minus 14, we get negative 30. And that is equal to 18. All right, so now we're almost done. We're just going to try to isolate the x. So as we're trying to isolate the x, we notice over here we have 30 subtracted. We have to do the inverse operation. So add 30 to both sides. And we get that x, sorry, 4x is equal to 48. And now, as you may know from Algebra 1, the operation between here is multiplication. So in order to get the x alone, we have to divide by 4. We have to divide both sides by 4. And so we end up getting that x is equal to 12. So now, I didn't actually ask a question here. If the question was find x, then the answer would be x is equal to 12 and we'd be done. However, if the question asked what is the length of the segment fg, then you would take the x, plug it in here to find your answer. If the question was what's the length of segment gh, you take the x, plug it in here, substitute it in here to find the answer. All right, but all I wanted was the value of x, so we're done.